Hi everyone, today I just want to do a quick video on is grams number a prime number? So I found this a very interesting question that I was uh, being asked a lot in the comment section. So there were a lot of people asking is grams number a prime number or could grams number be a prime number? Actually this is not a difficult question at all is I think it's pretty straightforward if you understand Graham's number so Graham's number G64 um, I don't know why people are asking this question but I think one reason is that they look at the last 10 digits or is last digits whatever number of digits so uh, the last 10 digits of Graham's number is 2464195387. So just by looking at the last 10 digits, it looks like it could be a prime number because this last digit is 7. Well, if you look at 7 by itself, it's a, it is a prime number. And is odd. And so I, I think maybe that's why people are asking is Graham's number a prime number. And um, so what to answer this question, we, the obvious, the easiest way is just to look at how uh, is Graham's number being constructed or how does it come up? How do we come up with Graham's number? So Graham's number is basically um, three with a lot of arrows in between two threes. So three with a lot of arrows, three, and there are G63 number of, of arrows. So uh, simply put, this thing is just means whatever amount of arrows, it just means a power tower of three. Of course, the power tower in this case is very, very tall. It's basically, it's, you can just say there's like G64 levels of threes here. So it's just a huge, huge, huge power tower of three. In other words, uh, in this case, it just means it is a multiple of three. So Graham's number is a multiple of three. What does that mean? In that case, in this case, it means Graham's number is divisible by three. And at this point, we can already tell that Graham's number is not a prime number. Because a uh, prime number is definition is that it can only be uh, divisible by one in itself. So of course, Graham's number is divisible by three. So at the minimum, it is divisible by one itself and three. And of course, another number, which is Graham's number divided by three. So Graham's number is not a prime number. Um, but I also get like, and other questions or other questions what about grams number minus one is grams number minus one a prime number so let's see so again here's the last ten digits of grams number so this if grams number minus one that means you just minus one at the end so this seven would be changed to six so here you can already tell any number ends with a six is not a prime number because six is an even number. So any even number is not a prime number because it's divisible by two. So in other words, Graham's number minus one is not a prime. So nope. So Graham's number is not a prime. Graham's number minus one also is not a prime. But what about Graham's number minus two? So Graham's number minus two, this last digit would be changed to five. So if the last digit is five, that means it is divisible by five. So in other words, Graham's number minus two is also not a prime number. So what about Graham's number minus three? So Graham's number minus three, this number at the end would be changed to four. So again, is an even number. So obviously is not a prime number. But also, if you minus 3, since Graham's number is divisible by 3, a number, any number divisible by 3, minus 3 is also divisible by 3. So Graham's number 
minus 3 is definitely not a prime number. It's divisible by, by 1, by 2, by 3, and by itself. So it's not a prime number. And then lastly, we look at what about grams number minus 4. So grams number minus 4, I think is actually could possibly possibly be a prime number. Although, I mean, I would say it's quite unlikely, but no one will ever know, maybe. But uh, yeah, grams number minus 4, the last digit would be 3. So in this case, it's an odd number, so it's not divisible by 2. And then we don't know. We don't know. We don't have enough information. We So it could be a prime, but again, it, it could also be not a prime. So in other words, the conclusion is that Graham's number is not a prime. Graham's number minus 1 is not a prime. Graham's number minus 2 is not a prime. Graham's number minus 3 is also not a prime. But Graham's number minus 4, we don't know. So that's about it for this video. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.